What do I get from this stage to this stage where I have refined cross hatching and really beautiful details that make this drawing pop? Well, let me tell you. You didn't know pastels are very fragile. They basically fall off the paper. So what I'm drawing with is something called sanded paper. It has like a sandpaper texture to it. And when I get to this stage in my drawing where it looks pretty good, I will spray it with something called a workable fixative. What that does is it locks this layer in place. If you were drawing digitally, for instance, you can literally lock your layer. That's what I'm doing, but in a traditional format. The downfall is that you can no longer erase anything once you spray that fixative down. It's stuck forever, but it allows me to layer in different pastels and colored pencils so that it eventually I will get details that I'm looking for. Now I'm going to show you how I take pastels and actually do the cross hatching portion. So here are all the pencils and the shavings. I need to dump that out. This is after I've laid down a workable fixative to lock that layer in place. And now I'm going through and adding my cross hatching flare, a little bit of rendering. And this is what I think sets my work apart in terms of seeing it in person, because a lot of these little details just don't pick up in video. And there we have it, the completed piece. Just to recap it all, I took sanded paper and hand prepped it with a brown acrylic paint went in with soft pastels and overlaid it with colored pencils to get this final and complete drawing.